Before today, what came to my mind when I thought of an electrician was a light bulb, soldering iron, maybe a couple of wires. But I've just found out that A, changing a light bulb is actually pretty easy, and B, electricians are everywhere from mining to household appliances, even wiring your home theatre system. So today I've come to ACEPT to speak to a real life electrician who's hopefully gonna make sure I don't zap myself while I'm here. From the first time someone switched on a light bulb, we've needed electricians. They make sure your TV turns on and they keep your home security system working. So today we're at the Challenger Institute of Technology's ACEPT campus where we're chatting with the first female apprentice to train at BHP Billet and Nickel West's Leinster Mine Site and is the WA Apprentice of the Year for 2013, electrician Emma Stevenson. G'day, how are you going? Hey Jesse, how are you? You're not too bad. What are you up to? Um, this year we're just monitoring the plant process with the distributed control system. Wow, that looks really complicated. Look, I want to learn a little bit more about your job. But should we go chat somewhere a bit quieter? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> what would you like to know? Well, I mean, there's a lot of different kinds of electrician, but what exactly do you do? I'm an industrial sparky on a mine site, so I do a lot of really large equipment and a whole processing plant, so big pumps, motors, a whole control system that runs the whole plant. Just take me through a typical day. Our main priority is a breakdown, because obviously in a process plan, if something breaks down, then the whole process can be affected. So as a shift sparky, we're in, responsible for getting that back up and running as quickly as possible. Cool. And uh, so why did you want to become a sparky? I was working in the mines already mm -hmm. and I saw a lot of the sparkies there had some great variety and they got to do the physical maintenance tasks but they also got to do problem solving and using new technologies and that really appealed to me. So tell me about this award that you got last year. Mm -hmm. I won the WA State Training Awards, Apprentice of the Year and there's a really high calibre of nominees. So it was such an incredible honour to have won. And going on from that, I was able to compete in the national awards and I've also been able to be an ambassador for my trade and for apprenticeship. Awesome, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> so now it's time for the edge, all right? Mm -hmm. What characteristics does someone need to be a sparky? You don't have to be a big burly bloke that can lift heavy things just to be a sparky. You can be small like me and, you know, use your brain for stuff as well as think your way around things. But, you know, if you do want to get down and dirty, there's that aspect <laughs> as well. And so what steps did you take to get to where you are today? I completed a Cert 3 in Engineering Electrical and also a Cert 4 in Engineering Instrumentation. So it's a dual trade qualification and I studied that at Challenger Institute of Technology. I did block release so I was able to do my work and then go straight to TAFE for two weeks at a time which was really great for me. And if you could end up where you are today but do one thing differently, what would that be? I'd probably try to get into an apprenticeship earlier, maybe straight out of high school. I took the long way around, but yeah, definitely if I could go back, I'd definitely start looking for ways to get in the door a lot earlier than I did. Well, you look really busy, but I've got a light bulb that needs changing. Do you reckon you could give me a hand with that? Sure, why not? All right, cool. So if you're someone who is always good at connecting the TV to the DVD player and, and the speakers to the TV, but still being able to listen to music, then maybe electrician's the right job for you. For more info and everything else, head to the WA Training Awards website. Now, how do I get down from here? Where's Emma? Emma!